Welcome back to Gun Buddy Customs. And today's episode is going to be about the the twenty dollar crawler from Walmart. Um, I saw this originally um, a few videos on, on on YouTube of other guys doing it, and then um, myself, Ray Junior Customs, and Dark Gate thirteen thirteen decided to do a kind of a three way build off, and each one of us do it and and, and post it. So this is gonna, this is my submission for that. I posted this last week on Instagram, I think, but I wanted to do a quick little video because people asked about the floor and uh, what what other, what other modifications that I did to it. So it right out of the box, it works really well scale-wise. And the only major modification you have to do is you got to remove the floor of the of the body, and I'll show you here in a minute. So I just wanted to show you what it looked like with you know it loaded down. You can comfortably seat two on the inside. And like I said, it looks scale. Their head to the headrest, you know what I mean? That looks scale. And then in the back, I added um, this twin machine gun mount that I had got off eBay. And I modified them and painted them um, to kind of look more the part. And then I created this sort of railing with like a little seat platform for the guy to uh, lean up against. Uh, other than that, for the exterior, all I did was I painted it a postal blue that I got from Michaels, and then just a white, a flat white primer for the for the bumpers. And I did the white just to give it the high contrast with the uh, the white logos. And then um, eventually, this is going to be part of my Arbco uh, my Arbco convoy, which is this is one one project in a larger project that's going to be probably hopefully maybe about seven or eight vehicles um along this co this cobra com convoy that i want to do um and it's all just basically from childhood as a child i used to love just kind of setting up the long columns of, of vehicles for both joe and uh cobra and so this is going to be kind of an adult version of that so um we're going to have you know the the wwe slam lens into an arbco truck and this thing up here is a it's a uh, knockoff barbie camper that I am going to create some kind of vehicle out of. Um, we have this RC crawler. Um, I have a uh, an anti-armor um, towed um, weapon, that uh, gun that, that's going to be towed behind one of these two vehicles. I was going to try to connect it to this, but the back is too high, and so it would have been like too high of an angle for the for the trails of that gun. So it would have just looked funky. So I'm gonna wait and, and put it with one of those, but that's about 95% done. And then I have more vehicles that I'm going to be looking for and trying to um, make for this convoy. And then I'm gonna make videos of them and show um, you know how I kind of turn them into classified vehicles, like I did with this one. Now to to get this to work with uh, classified guys is pretty easy. You just have to remove the body, which is four screws. There's two screws in the back, two screws in the front, and this body pops right off. Now, in order to get into here so you can cut out the bottom, you're going to have to remove the, the top, which has um, four screws itself, one at the bottom of each post, and then you have two screws that go from this post, which is connected to the body, into the roof. So you would have to remove these two and then these four, and then this can come off. And that's and you need it to come off so you can put the guys in and out. So let me show you. Let me just kind of gently remove these guys and this. Um, uh, this canopy here, so then that way you can kind of see. Uh, there you go. So it comes off fairly easy. So this is what the bottom of it looks like. It's got a little rear view mirror. like that so the guys kind of you have to kind of work their feet in there a little bit because of what's on the inside see it's like all the, the rc car stuff so you have to remove the bottom here in order for you to be able to snake their legs you know in there enough um because like i said the, the the foot space is extremely abbreviated in order to accommodate all the, the the mechanical um stuff and battery packs of the of the rc car so what I did was, is I just kind of went into the corner and I hot knifed it and tried to save as much as the interior as I could. So then that way it looked, um, you know, 
semi, you know, correct and cool. But also, if you were just looking at it, um, if you were just looking at it, you couldn't really tell. You know what I mean? With the guys in there and the and the and the canopy on, it'd be real hard to, you know, you can't see what they're sitting on, so it looks the part. And then you can just easily put it right back, right back on. But that's it. That's a twenty dollar crawler, and so um, it's a it's pretty quick, pretty easy. Um, you know, you don't need like a special screwdriver. It's just they're just small um, Phillip head screws that you can actually use the uh, the like the little screwdriver for like the O ring screw, the, the O ring figure screw in the back. And that's it's about the same size. Um, but that's it. The twenty dollar crawler that is going to be the recon vehicle in my Cobra convoy. And that's it. Yeah, I mean, you can obviously make it more elaborate. I um, I am going to be adding some more stuff. I think a, uh, I would like to add a, a platform right here for um, two more guys to stand on and like a handrail. Um, so it'd be kind of close to like the Stinger or Vamp. And then I'm going to redo this to where it kind of comes back. Uh, it goes up and then back and then back around. So then that way he could be further back. So then that way I can move this further back. Um, because I kind of screwed myself with uh, with the, the movement. I did not plan for that, so I'm gonna have to move this further back and then move this back so then the guy can be sitting uh, further back so then that way he'll have uh, a bigger range of motion uh, for, you know, for, I mean, obviously it's not gonna really shoot, but you know, for display and, and all that kind of stuff, but that's it. That is the $20 crawler at Walmart. Easy to find, affordable price and a vehicle that'll work with the G.I. Joe classified line. All right, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.